Welcome Orist, and welcome to another watch review. Here I have the Tudor Pelagos 39, and here are the dimensions. It has a case diameter of 39mm, but measures roughly 40mm including the bezel. It has a lug to lug of 47mm, lug width of 21mm, a thickness of 11.8mm, water resistance of 200m, and a 70 hour power reserve from the MT5400 movement. The Tudor Pelagos is a legendary line of watches, known for their value as reliable, tool orientated divers. This new addition to the family maintains some key elements of the Pelagos while adding its own quirks. But it's also reminiscent of another legendary dive watch, the Submariner. When thinking about Tudor, it's hard not to think about the Black Bay 58. It's a fantastic dive watch, a crowd favorite with an amazing look, and is widely known for its value proposition, but it had some flaws which made me think twice about pulling the trigger. Then comes along the Tudor Pelagos 39. The Pelagos name was generally associated with divers in the larger size category, but when I read 39, I was intrigued. The looks were right up my alley. The dimensions were enticing and the ceramic bezel compared to the aluminium on the Black Bay 58 sealed the deal. Taking a look at the dial, the Pelagos 39 sets itself apart from its brothers with solid loom plot hour markers without any applied frame or minute track cavity. They stand alone and give the watch a familiar yet unique look. The hour markers add a three dimensional feeling to the dial without the need of excess elements. It keeps a clean and simple aesthetic while incorporating depth and detail. It's something I highly suggest you check out in person if you're interested in the watch. And it's easily my favorite aspect of the Pelagos 39. The watch has a chapter ring which surrounds the dial, but lacks the hour marker indentations usually found on Pelagos models. This is a welcome change and emphasizes the 3D nature of those hour markers. The Pelagos 39 exhibits a black dial with an extremely subtle sunburst effect. Personally, I'm a big fan of this as it adds extra elements of light play and character to an otherwise mundane black on black layout. The dial will appear black in low light settings and is what you will usually see, but when you take the watch under bright lights or sunshine, the sunburst will come to life, presenting a sunray effect that reveals a radial brushed dial which matches that of the ceramic insert. The insert features fully loomed markings and carries a radial brushed finish, different from the typical glossy ceramic found on many modern day divers. The insert achieves an appearance that is vintage inspired, emulating something to the likes of an aluminium insert without sacrificing the scratch resistant quality of a ceramic. It's an appropriate design choice for a tool watch with its understated finishing and it sits well on the more aggressively teethed bezel. The action is smooth with a crispy 60 click bezel and is very easy to operate. The bezel itself sits proud of the case, overhanging the sides, making the watch wear closer to 40 millimeters compared to the advertised 39 millimeters. The Pelagos 39 is constructed from grade two titanium, giving it a more grayish appearance when compared to steel. The case is fully brushed and features chamfered lugs which are commonly found on Tudor watches, flowing well into the sharp and angular crown guards, which protect a large and grippy crown, thanks to the aggressive teeth, like those found on the bezel. The brushing is well done 
and ties in well with the subtle sunray of the dial and radial brushed ceramic. Due to the 21mm lug width, the lugs also have a slimmer and sleek appearance, which suits the overall composition of the watch. It's not trying to be a chunky diver. Instead, it leans into the Tudor and Rolex heritage and gives us a perception of a diver from the past with a modern construction. The watch features a fully brushed three link bracelet, which closely resembles that of a Rolex Oyster. Typically, the center links of the Pelagos family would be much wider than the flanking links. But here, we find the sides and center links are sized in a more proportionate fashion. The bracelet is very comfortable and wraps around the wrist with ease. Tapering from 21 millimeters at the lugs to 16 millimeters at the clasp. Now the standout feature is of course, the T-Fit clasp with a diver's extension. The clasp is a locking, folding clasp, which is easy to operate. And the diver's extension is well hidden and slim right here. Now it does have here a uh, little push button. Well, not really a button, but like a, fi a friction fit um, mechanism. Just give it a little push and out it comes. So it's very easy to operate locks in well and it's very slim and it just slides right into the clasp there now one downside of the clasp however is the overall length so if you see there it takes up a lot of real estate and will attract a lot of scratches due to its size it doesn't feel bulky but it does feel long now the clasp has these ceramic balls to reduce wear and the way you activate the T-fit function. Now, just make a T-shape like this and you pull down and you can slide. And when once you uh, release it, it locks in place. So if you see there, there are these little notches for those teeth to latch into. Just slide it to the one you want and it will lock into place. So pull down and you can slide. Nice and easy, nice and simple and looks good. On the wrist, it wears extremely well, given its dimensions and a titanium build. The lightweight nature of titanium reduces the heft of the watch, but doesn't make it seem invisible on the wrist. I still notice it's there, which I quite like, as I'm used to the weight of steel. It's a great balance between weight and comfort. You know it's there, but it doesn't feel like it's in the way. The dimensions on the Pelagos 39 are a departure from the usual Pelagos structure. It's a more compact package, one that is sure to please many wrists. The size is versatile and follows the downsized trend, giving it a more proportionate and sleek look. The watch comes together nicely with a well thought out composition. The finishing is uniform and done extremely well, transitioning effortlessly from dial to case to bracelet. And the grey hue of the titanium complements the brushing and radial finish of the watch. It's rugged yet refined, simple yet sophisticated. It's the watch I chose over the Black Bay 58, and it's a great alternative to the Submariner. Let me know in the comments what you think about the watch. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing for more watch content. I'll see you in the next one.